Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you're all doing really well and that you had a great week. So let's discuss a little bit um, about the past couple weeks. We were talking about a baby, right? Does anybody remember that baby's name? Jesus, yeah. And how he was born in a um, manger. And then last week we talked about three people coming to see him, the three wise men. But when they came to see him, because it took a long time to get there to him, Jesus was always a little, was a little bit older. And see, now we're going to jump ahead to when Jesus was a lot older and whenever he um, preached to the people and how he spread the word about God. And so let's talk about this one time that Jesus calmed the storm. See my boat here? Yeah, right now it looks like it's, I'm not a very good drawer, but it looks like he's, you know, the boat's sailing pretty good on that water, right? Well, we're going to talk about a time when that boat didn't sail so good on that water. And we're going to use our Bibles that Miss Kara gave us, okay? And this story is called The Captain of the Storm. And so the sun was going down and it looked like a beautiful night, but Jesus was really tired from all that teaching he was doing. And so he said, let's go across the lake. And so they climbed into the boat, to, and as soon as he got in the boat, Jesus, you see Jesus, what did he do? He fell asleep. He was that tired. He fell asleep to take a nap. And his friends were just happy that they were headed out into the middle of the lake, and everything was perfect, nice and quiet. Off they sail. What do you think could go wrong? I mean, they have Jesus with them. Boat's going good. Beautiful night. Everything's fine. Everything was not so fine. Uh-oh, what do you think's happening? All of a sudden, they were only about eh, halfway across when the whirling wind swept up the lake, fierce and strong like a hurricane. <gasps> That's a really bad storm. And thunder roared and the lightning went off and the storm blew the water into towering waves that hurled the little boat up and that sent them crashing back down and down and down. So the boat went up and then the waves came and it went down and they were just going all over the place. And so the fishing boat was blown and buffeted and tossed and turned back and forth and up and down and left and right. Oh man, this boat, oh, so much for that fine night they were having. And now Jesus' friends, they've been fishermen all their life, so they've been out on the storm, but not quite a storm like this. This storm was too big and they could not control anything what do you think's gonna happen jesus is still sleeping my goodness how is he sleeping through all of this but you know what the storm was not too big for jesus he was still sleeping but it was not too big for him help they screamed wake up wake up quick jesus and jesus opened his eyes rescue us save us don't you care do you think Jesus cares about you? I think Jesus cares about us very much. Well, of course Jesus cared. This was the very reason he had come, to rescue them and save them. Jesus knew there was going to be a storm. So Jesus stood up and broke and spoke to the storm. Hush, he said. And that's all. And the strangest thing happened. Do you think those crazy waves listened to God, listened to Jesus? What do you think? The wind and the waves, they recognized Jesus' voice. And all of a sudden, the wind stopped. The water calmed down. The moonlight shined. And it was back to a peaceful night. Hmm, that's interesting, right? The little boat bobbed gently up and down. And there was a deep stillness and great quiet all around. Then Jesus turned to his wind-torn friends. Why were you scared, he said. Did you forget who I am? Did you believe your fears instead of me? We should never do that. We should always believe in Jesus. Jesus' friends were quiet, as quiet as the wind and the waves. What kind of man is this? They asked themselves anxiously. Even the winds and the waves obey him because they didn't understand. They didn't realize yet that Jesus was the son of God. Jesus' friends had been so afraid that they had seen the big waves that they had forgotten. If Jesus was with them, then they had nothing to be afraid of. 
And that's what we need to remember in our lives too, boys and girls, that if we have Jesus in our hearts, that we shouldn't be afraid that Jesus is going to be there for us to calm that storm, to rescue us when times get tough. And you know, how can we, how can we talk to Jesus? He's up in heaven. We can pray to him. Jesus loves it when we pray to him. We pray to him and ask him, Jesus, please calm the storms in my life. Take the fears away. Sometimes maybe you are you get scared in the middle of the night because it's really dark or your nightlight went out or something. But, you know, we don't have to be scared. We can just fold our hands and close our eyes and say, Dear Lord, please take these fears away from me. Help me to not be anxious. And so, oh, and you always need to close with amen. So we need to take these times and pray to Jesus because he's there for us to take care of us, okay? And so I have one craft to do today, and then there's also a coloring sheet online. And if you can do this craft, great. If you can't, that's okay. Maybe some other time. So I have this jar, and you can see I have a little balloon in there. That balloon is my boat. And so that boat's just, you know, sailing along, everything's good. You know, that boat's going good. Well, what happened in our story? What happened? It got crazy. The wind went and the waves went crazy and our boat's going all around. But Jesus said, stop. And all of a sudden it was still. And the boat just bobbed along there then everything was fine and dandy because we have to remember we have to believe in Jesus and know that he's going to take care of us he's going to calm the storms in our life okay right now it might not be too bad because you're just little and things aren't quite so crazy for you but you know as we get older the storms get a little crazier and we have to remember that Jesus is there to calm our storms okay Let's go ahead and say a prayer before we sing. Let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you so much for each one of these boys and girls. I thank you for them listening to these lessons and wanting to learn about you. Thank you for calming the storms in our lives and help us to remember to always talk to you. We pray this in your name. Amen. All right, so remember this week, as we go throughout the week, we have to remember that Jesus can help us with anything and everything. If he can calm a crazy storm and make the waves stop, he can help us in the times of our lives whenever we need him. Let's go ahead and sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Let's sing. What should we sing? Let's sing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide. There's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. And let's do running over. Running over, running over, my cup is full and running over. Since the Lord saved me, I'm as happy as can be. My cup is full and running over. All right, boys and girls, well, I hope you have another great week and remember to always pray and talk to Jesus, okay?